everybody, welcome back. Um, this is Charlene Adzma again here, and it's week 11 of Irish Fiddle Foundations. And uh, we're coming right up on uh, kind of the high holy day of Irish music, St. Patrick's Day, which is March 17th. And um, we, we do, uh, you know, a lot of gigs and stuff, but I mean, for us, honestly, like we, we play tunes all year round. St. Patrick's Day just happens to be the day that um, everyone wants us around. Okay, so... Um, so I thought I'd teach you guys a cool little jig called St. Patrick's Day. And it's common uh, at, in Irish dance circles. And that's, boy, that's a whole other topic, isn't it? Irish dance comes in many forms. Everybody here, I think, is familiar with river dance, which is um, step dancing, largely, uh, where you have either your soft shoes, like this, um, or you have your hard shoes, like this. All right, uh, this is a kind of dance called a set dance which is just going to get more confusing i'm going to apologize in advance for everything here um but a solo step a solo set dance which happens in step dance um you do with saint patrick's day here and you do it with the hard shoes all right um it has a parts and b parts but the funny thing about this one when you look at the map Bingo, here you go. It's, uh, you got your A part, which you do play twice. And when you play for the solo set dance, for those step dancers, then uh, you only play that B part once before, you know, moving on or, or perhaps just stopping. Um, there is another kind of Irish dance called the Kaylee dance. It's a group dance. Okay, here's the word Kaylee. Yeah, spelled exactly how it sounds, right? Yeah, and um, so Kaylee dancing is group dancing. It's fun party dancing. And uh, the this dance in a Kaylee dance setting, uh, you play the A part twice and you do play the B part twice and you keep playing it until they're done with their, with their, um, with their dance. So um, let's just go ahead and get started with St. Patrick's Day here. And uh, Again, pull up the map. Bing. Um, have a really good look at this. That A part there, not terribly complicated. And then that B part, why it's just six bars with the A part attached to it. Isn't that funny? All right, so perhaps if we just start by learning the A part, um, we'll get something done here. Okay, so the A part, that whole big pink block is two measures and um, kind of goes up the mountain and it goes down the mountain, right? So we start on G. And I would go G, A, G with your fourth finger for reasons I will um, tell you about later, okay? But just go with me for the moment. Here we go. And then we'll kind of go up the mountain. All right, so G, A, G, B, or B, C, D. Oh, sorry. G, B, C. I screwed up. G, A, G, G, B, C. Now we can go to D. D, E, D. Again, use your fourth finger. And again, that D. D, B, G. So a G major triad, if you're interested. So um, first measure. Second measure, start on D. So I guess we do like a three, four, three, and we go up the hill. Three, one, two, and then we do three, four, three again. And go down the hill. All right, one more time. Um, actually, scratch that. Three more times on that giant pink block. Here we go. chance. And now we'll move on to the little orange block here. So it's another one of those little valleys. It's A, G, A, and then we'll 
drop way down onto the D string. So B, G, here we go. up with that little yellow block. You have a little pickup note, all right? So uh, the little yellow block is E, G, F sharp, E, which is longer, and then D. Um, we'll do that one three times too. recognize the um, rhythmic patterns that we were learning from East at Glendart, right? So everything we just played, right, up until this yellow block is just all eighth notes all the time. Six eighth notes. And now we have a new pattern, which is um, the first beat is a group of three eighth notes. One, two, three, and then we have a long short. All right. So let's do that yellow block one more time. Sorry. All right. So that is our whole first line there. Let's go ahead and do that whole thing. And then we'll, we'll um, replace the yellow block with our purple block. Here we go. Let's do it again, and why don't we just throw on our pickup note at the beginning? I I didn't give it to you quite yet, but um, let's open D, start up bow. That'll help a little bit. Here we go. And then we'll do it again. Orange block. Purple block starts on the same note as yellow block. So it's E. But the difference is the rhythm is going to be long, short, long, short. And the notes are going to be a little different too, right? The yellow block went from E to G. The purple block goes from E to F sharp. And that E is what I would call a fork note. Um, to me, a fork note is that note at which you get to make a decision, you know, like a fork in the road. Um, am I playing it the first time through and going one direction, or am I playing it the second time through and going a different direction? All right. So at the fork note, which is E, the first time it goes up to G, the second time it goes to F sharp, and then it goes to G. And then it goes back to that pickup D. So uh, purple block. Again. It's very satisfying. Pick up. All right, uh, let's do the whole A part now. I know I've gone through it very quickly, but good thing it's a video and you can uh, back up and try it again, okay? Here we go. Uh, open D pickup. We're gonna play that whole A part twice. to, um, I guess you could say, our second ending because we'll have a different pickup note in order to get into the B part. So the B part, um, you can see it's, it's, it's a little multicolored, right? Um, but there's an incessant green about it. So here is your green block. Um, your pickup note is a B. 
which I think is fairly helpful. And now we have six eighth notes, so two groups of three. And if it helps at all, it goes up the hill from D. And then you go up a little bit so you can reach the top and start coming back down again with that G, A, G. Let's do it again with the pickup, uh, the B. Here we go. Very nice, again. I just realized I said very nice. You can do whatever you like and I will just, I will still say very nice. I think we've got our, our green block, right? What say you to um, our uh, our uh, colored, uh, what do we have, our, our um, blues, many shades of blues, right? So um, I like to, I like to use colors an awful lot in order to determine where we go in the tune. Uh, the dark blue means we go down at the end. Uh, the medium one means we kind of hang out in the middle. And the light one means we're on our way up. Okay, so the dark blue goes like this. So it's F sharp, E, D. Back up to that E. Go back to D. And on B. So that's as low as we go. All right. So with the green, just to make some sense out of it. Blue. Here's another green. Here's your medium blue. It starts exactly the same way. So it ends, it gives a nice long note, a quarter note on that E, instead of um, moving down to the D and the B, like in the dark blue. Medium blue is a one, two, three, long, short rhythm. So with the green, Medium blue, start on F sharp. Long, short, and look at that B. That's our pickup, isn't it? That's our pickup that takes us right back into the green. Next green. And now our light blue starts the same way as all the rest of them, right? F sharp, E, D, but go back to that E and go up instead. There we go, let's do the light blue again. E, light blue one more time, okay let's make sense of this whole uh, first bit of the B part, uh, green, dark blue, green, medium blue, green, light blue, there we go, pick up with a B. to the A part. Now it's not the A part, any, it's still the B part, but it's the exact same notes as the A part, okay? So um, I'm gonna play you the whole tune, two A's. I will give you two B's so that you get good practice with it. And then maybe on St. Patrick's Day, um, you'll get a little treat with this, okay? Um, here we go. One, oh, pick up with open D. One and a two and. D. 
over again. B. to sleep there I hope everything was recording um <laughs> it's a long tune it's a, it's a sometimes they actually call them long dances these set dances maybe because they're a bit long sometimes there we go um so anyway um go ahead and practice that tune I'll put the uh and the audio file and um I guess I'll put the sheet music up too just for a bit of fun so if you want to try some of those jig bowings that we were talking about uh, last time, you can go ahead and just write them on there if you want. Remember we slur into beat two from the end of uh, beat one. And if you've got, um, let's see, if you've got some long shorts like that, don't do any slurs just for now, I think, um, except for one. Maybe I'll give you one. So the second half of the B part goes, or sorry, second half of the A part goes, uh... Now, you're going to start up bowing long, short, long, short, right? The first long, short, I'd love for you to, to give it a bit of a slur. And then separate. Now you're ready to go. Um... And that we solved that one slur there with that cut, right? That is why we're doing it with the um, fourth finger because we've already used it. Let's 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 use it again. free again okay that's enough out of me today um watch for a bonus video on the day itself and um, we'll see you then or maybe next week all the best bye, -bye.